and it's super, super healthy. You're not going to get any healthier. There's no grease in this. There's probably very little fat and it's super, super fresh. I mean, look at all these ingredients. Asote? Okay. This is really good stuff right here. These beautiful mints right here. And there's some that are blue new. So that I can eat out of it and enjoy it. Um, it's beautiful to look at. It's, it's fragrant, like this right here. Mm. Oh my God, that smells so good. That's amazing. And this too, you can just see the purple blooms there. Mmm. You're, that's in your food. Uh -huh. just tastes so good. All this is edible, so good. All right, so we read basically take a one of these little guys. It's like a salad spinner, but a mini one. Okay. And this is perfect for herbs. This is just, actually, I'm just going to really fast. Okay. We had to help out in the kitchen and wash dishes as kids. So just by being in the kitchen and watching, yeah. And these herbs are essential to Vietnamese like cuisine. Mm. And if, you know, if you go, especially like, like you see this all the time when you go have pho and that's the only way to eat pho is having all those herbs. So, um, in fact, I, I always ask for more because this is what makes it. And it's so good for you. And there's so, I'm sure, so many medicinal benefits. But rarely do I eat such fragrant and easy to grow greens. And it just makes, it makes food like alive. I just stuff that right in there. It shouldn't go down the trash because it can be composted. It's a good thing. And then that goes back into the garden eventually. Eat out of the garden. Eat out of the garden. Repeat after me. Eat out of the garden. Okay. You've got this little strainer colander in the middle. And then the container that basically holds all the water. Kind of like a bucket. And... Um, and then, so basically, you just want to make sure that all the dirt's off. And then what I do is I have, because of the water drought and situation, I bought these things. Um, and I put it in my sink. So clean water for washing veggies. Um, no grease, none of that. So you lift this colander up. Then you have this water right here, it's perfectly usable for the garden. And you just don't want to take all the water out. I put the clean water, gray water back in here that can be used back on your garden for food, plants, flowers. Um, normally people just let that go straight down the drain. The stuff that should go down the drain is really water that can't be reused. So hopefully as a society we'll get better at um, optimizing that. Okay, so now you have your veggies. And actually, we'll just do it one more time. If you're a vegan, you don't want to have a caterpillar on your mitt as you're making a spring roll. <laughs> so here we go, second wash. That's a lot of good water that goes back on the plants. All right, there we go. Now we're going to spin it dry. It's really simple. 
right? So if you didn't have this little device, you can do what the old Italian grandmas do, which I'll show you really quick. It's old school. So you take a cloth and you make your own system. And you would take your washed, bed, uh, washed leaves or whatever, and you put them in here. Okay, because this is how they would do them. It actually really works great. So you don't need any equipment. You just need your hands. And to dry them, so we're going to actually, they're a little wet. We're going to just roll them in like this. And you just go like this, and it shakes the water out. So you just see that. Which I thought was really clever. And then um, the other ladies, like in the Vietnamese culture, they would have a colander, shake it out, and let it dry oh, on an open towel. But this is cool. Yes, I mean. And then if it's really wet, then it starts spraying water all over the place. And for kids, that's fun. Okay, so there you go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful herbs. Oh, that smells so good. Save that water. Okay. I am going to use this bowl. Let's see here. And we don't have to use all of these now, but we'll have a good mix. The purple basil leaves. I mean, this is this is this is the best part of the spring bowl. So it's a ex, extra steps, but it's so good for you, and it's it makes it like I've had spring rolls without the herbs because I got too lazy, and they just don't taste as good. So let me tell you a little bit about what I know about spring rolls as it relates to my own experience. Um, so my family emigrated from Vietnam in 19, they left Vietnam in 1974 and um, they arrived in 75 to the US. And so, um, and I was born in 76 and we, I was raised basically um, mostly, well, American, but in a refugee Vietnamese family. So, um, so what that means is I kind of had a double life. And at home, when I was younger, um, they still ate and cooked a lot like this. That's before my parents had a, a business. When they had a business, they just didn't have time. This is so time um, consuming to, to eat like this. It's way better for you and it's super tasty, but I mean, to go collect the leaves and wash them and then like, you know, with all the different ingredients, it's, it's laborious and that's not quite the American culture. Uh, so what I know about this is basically it's comprised, it looks, people call it like salad rolls. That's, um, that's like an American term for it, but the Vietnamese name for it is goi gun. And I probably didn't even say that right because I'm a little little gringo for me and his person um, and it has basically like this you know lots of herbs mints um, it sometimes has noodles traditionally it has slices of pork tenderloin that's been like boiled um, and slices of shrimp and then there's the vegan version which um, is very popular and that has tofu so um, the other parts of it which I'll show you in just a second um, has pickled daikon and pickled carrots which I really really love and you'll find that also in Vietnamese sandwiches so I made those yesterday earlier so that we would have those and be able to eat those today so I think this is enough for now but there you go I'm taking it off the fire. It's okay. It'll have a smoky flavor. That'll be a new, uh, a new undiscovered version of the sauce. All right, so it's pretty hot.
can see it, it's getting way more oily. So the oils are coming out of the peanut. And you don't have to use peanuts. You can use any other nut. Normally, to make this go way faster, I just use a jar of the um, almond butter with maple syrup in there. And um, I, I skipped this part. But because I used it all, we're gonna have to go a little bit old school. All right, so peanuts. Rice vinegar. Oh, wow, I've never done that before. That's cool. Okay. All right, and then sesame oil. Oops. Soy sauce. We love soy sauce. <laughs> All right, and I'll probably add some water too. And then for a little bit of sweetness, maple syrup. Okay. Adios. I am going to try a little bit of this to see what, oh, it's really thick. It's too thick. Mmm, it's good. Okay, I'm gonna use, instead of water, I'm just using garden tea. This is lemon, lemon verbena. Okay. All right, what else? I think I wanna add a little bit of vegetarian oyster sauce. Beep, beep, beep. Always good to add some more green, like green um, onions from the garden. Oh yeah, there we go. But that's pretty much your base. Your base is a nut, peanut butter, sesame oil. If you're using the brand of almond butter with maple syrup, then you can skip the maple syrup because that almond butter is sweet. But because we're going from scratch, I added the sweetness back in, your soy sauce and your rice vinegar. That is your base. I think it still might be too thick. Wow, that looks really good though. Mmm, this is gonna be so good. Yes, yes, yes. One more time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab a mason jar. So I just make a batch because I eat a lot of spring roll. Hopefully you have some of these reusable glass jars, very handy. We're going to put our peanut sauce in here so that we can reuse it over and over. And I eat a lot of spring rolls. When you're going fast and you don't have a ton of time to make everything from scratch, you would simply just take a few scoops of that. I would reconstitute it, make it liquidy by boiling water in the water kettle. And then, so let's say, let's say I had a jar and I had like three big spoons of that almond butter with maple syrup or any almond butter, and it's all sticky and, you know, hard. So then I'd put um, hot water. In there and I would just stir it until it starts dissolving. Once it starts dissolving, then you start adding some of your sesame. Um, if it doesn't have sweetness in it already, then you would add a little bit of sweetness. You could do sugar. Again, I like maple, um, soy sauce, and rice vinegar. And that is your base for the sauce. Oh, and garlic. Um, and then for me, what I did is I added chives in there um, and I made it not as thick. So it's just to your liking. And then you have this whole awesome jar. And it's like so good you can drink it. Remember we saved water from the washing the veggies. So that's a lot of water right here. Normally we'd be using fresh water to clean this out. I'd like to just do what I can. And so I'm using this right now to kind of help 
clean this out. Um, and that way we're not using fresh, fresh water. So anyway, and that is a little bit of something how you can help reduce overall waste. If I hadn't used it for this, I would have put this back into the garden, but at least this is not good water going down the drain. And now it will take even less fresh water to clean this because all the goo's out. And so I'll wash that with now a little bit of soap. And I use this area here when I'm wipe, uh, taking the soap off, I do it over that water saving bucket. Here we go. So basically this water is being used a couple of times before it's discarded. And in general, that's really kind of where consumers can do their part without any high tech. It's just being a little bit smarter. We have our sauce ready, okay? Boo. Now we start assembly. This is the brand uh, that I use. It's a little bit tricky to find, but I use the one with the three ladies. Okay. All right. I have this plate that I'm using and um, I'm using hot water. You can use cold water, but hot water will make the wrapping um, softer, faster. Okay. All right, so let me line up my beautiful assembly of stuff. Cause this is like so fun. This is the fun part. Like, look how gorgeous this is. I love all the colors. This should be like on a painting. Okay, here we go. This is the infamous rice paper. It's beautiful and round and it's not very tasty. Uh-oh. <laughs> you should just, you know. Wet it and get it warm here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking the extra water off because you don't want it too, too soft. Okay, all right. So there you go. Put it on here. And now is the fun part. Now you get to create. So I'm gonna take this and start with um, romaine lettuce. And then I'm going to take some of this beautiful red cabbage, okay? Okay. And then uh, bell pepper and my pickled daikon. And I, did, I made these yesterday, daikon and carrots. And then you can take your protein. So if it's like last week I had leftover salmon, so I put slices of salmon in there, any type of fish. You name it. Um, I got a little bit of the noodles. Put that in there. You don't want to stuff it too much, otherwise it's gonna explode. Okay, and then the mint from the garden, which is super critical. Okay, so here you go. I don't like the stems. I just want the leaf. Okay, so, oh, that's so good. Some parsley. And I did experiment last night and made, um, tried to make it like crunchier. You can do whatever you want. But like um, I took egg roll wrapping and I rolled them up and I fried them because I wanted to see if I could add a little bit more texture. So now I've got this incredible thing and it's soft now. So I'm going to start rolling it. So, do, do, do. Ooh. Yeah. Veggies try to escape. They're gonna get eaten. Can't escape me. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at the colors. It's translucent. Okay, so the question is, um, what's the technique? I don't know what the technique is. I just know I've made lots of bad ones. So I will go slower so that you can watch, okay? 
Um, remember, take off all the excess water and do not make the mistake of letting this linger in the water. That's a no-no. This thing will pretty much like disintegrate. So, um, so yeah, so one more time. Here we go. We're gonna take our favorite pieces. Oh, I forgot to add these beautiful garden green onions. Okay, you're gonna take bell pepper and some of the cabbage that I also pickled and some ooey gooey noodles. They're really fun to make. And lots and lots of mint, okay? Make you strong like Popeye, okay? And then this, and then also, did I put a tofu? Okay, and tofu. Okay, that's a pretty hearty one. So I'm gonna wrap. So first, okay, what I'm trying to do is wrap and spread it out a little bit so that it's not too big and you, it's manageable. So roll that in and then start tucking it in, but don't press too hard. And just start tucking, tucking in nice and firm, nice and firm, and then take the end, wrap that guy in, wrap this one in and continue to roll. Okay. Voila. Okay, let me do a couple more. All right, so is it, is it did I? Sometimes when the water gets cooler, it takes a little bit longer for the paper to get just pliable enough, like soft enough. Oh, and I definitely want to add some more of these, which are my garden green onions. Oh, and this one. Okay, it's a little bit challenging, but I can do it. We can do it. Okay, oops, it's trying to get away. Don't let it escape. Yeah. Ha! Uh-oh, this one bust. Shoot. That is no good. <laughs> okay, I will eat that one. It's just gonna happen. Accept it, okay? And just enjoy eating it. Just it'll be messier. You do save money. For example, like, you should be growing things like green onions. Like, it's it's like a weed and it's so great you put them in your eggs you put them in your soup you put them in everything it's a great topping same thing with the uh mints and the herbs very easy to grow they're like weeds um but they add so much to your food so at the very least herbs basics um like green onions um and lettuce is easy to grow, you know, and actually, you know, the prices are rising on all of our food items. Commodity prices are rising, it costs more, gas is higher, so it takes longer, it takes more money to actually deliver all that food to the supermarkets. So if you're already gardening and have a home and or have a balcony and you have sun and you have some water, you could easily have this accessible to you a great deal of stuff accessible to you. You really should. But it's also fun. It's enjoyable. It feels good. It feels good to go out in your garden and harvest something and see things growing. You know, not everyone has time to go and connect with nature. This is a very easy way of doing that. And it's also healthy. It's good for you. So do it. regular person. Yes, ta-da! Pretty. All right. like chili. So I'm gonna add a little bit. Actually, it's quite a lot. Okay, so here we go, you guys. Here's the taste test. 
Let's see. There we go. Look how pretty that is right there. All the colors. So. Mmm. 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 <laughs> mm. Awesome. This is really easy to make on a daily basis. I eat spring rolls probably three times, maybe more a week because it's so simple. All right, so if you're gonna do this, um, you're gonna store all of this already pre-prepped in your fridge. So these you can get at Costco or Amazon or pretty much anywhere, but they're glass containers with a lid. And I avoid using Ziplocs and Saran wrap because they're pretty wasteful and it's not good for the environment. And these are way better. So what you'll typically do um, if you're the type to prep and you don't have a lot of time during the week, when you do have time, you know, and also things like this, mason jars, they're just better for your kitchen. So you would have all of this pre-prepped and you would put this in here, all this stuff, and you'd have them already ready in your fridge so that when it's time to eat, all you have to do is take out your ingredients and then heat up the water and use the rice paper and lunch is ready in like no time. And it's super, super healthy. You're not gonna get any healthier. There's no grease in this. There's probably very little fat and it's super, super fresh. I mean, look at all these ingredients and you're just gonna feel better. You're gonna feel happier after you eat. So invest in these. And if you want more details, we can definitely put this links to items like this in the description. So thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you want more tips on how to cook environmentally friendly and healthy for you and healthy for your family, um, definitely subscribe. I'd love for you to join me on this fun adventure. Thanks.